Alrighty, guys. Good morning. It's currently uh, 5:49 in the morning. Um, nobody's here. I'm at the apartment gym today. Today's going to be an apartment gym workout. Um, I'm just going to do arms today. I was going to do legs. Give me one second here. I was going to do legs. I was gonna, like I said, the plan today was to get under a squat bar, um, do some quad extensions, hamstring curls and whatnot. But like, I'm not lying when I say this, my body is absolutely torched still from that leg day I did uh, a couple videos ago when I did the squats. I don't know exactly why. I mean, I can make an assumption and the assumption I make is that it's probably due to the fact that I haven't squatted in like months. I'm also, you know, I'm also under the weather right now. I'm taking this uh, chloroseptic, sore throat, fast acting stuff. Um, it's funny, this stuff you're not supposed to swallow, but I've been swallowing it nonstop. So I'll pump like three shots in there and I'll just swallow it, which I don't think you're supposed to do. Actually, I know you're not supposed to do it because it says it directly on the uh, on the bottle, don't swallow, but I'm an idiot, so I've been swallowing it the whole time. Um, but so in this video today, I'm just gonna go over a quick arm workout. Um, it's probably only gonna be about a 20 minute workout. It's about all the time I have. Um, it's currently, like I said, 5.50 in the morning. I do have to be at work at 6.45. So I'm gonna catch a quick arm pump this morning and then actually probably gonna go back to the gym later. I won't record then. Um, but I'm definitely going to hit probably a back day because my legs are just so tight, like right on the inner part of my thighs, my glutes, my quads, like everything is just super tight. And I can tell you it's, it's from the, uh, it's from the squats. Like they just torture me. It's not like a pain, you know, it's funny. A lot of people, it's hard for people who are like newer to the gym to delineate the difference between pain versus soreness. And it's funny. I, I think I've said this before. But the difference is you will know when you hurt yourself versus when you're just sore. And it's like, it's very, you know, it's very, it's a wide open, like that's up for a lot of interpretation. That's why I tell my clients and usually they, they, they can tell the difference. Um, but it is interesting. It's like, there's no, it's like the best way to know is just to kind of feel the difference. Uh, but we're going to go over here. We're going to start out with a tricep movement here. We're just going to do a simple tricep single arm extension, which is my favorite one to really warm up and get started. I actually will take the clip off. So I'll go ahead and take the clip off and I'll just use, I'll just hold the top of this part right here. And when I'm thinking about these, um, let me actually adjust this angle a little bit for you guys, just so you can get a little bit better. <clears throat> so when I'm doing these, let me use this cable. When I'm doing these, I'm standing straight on like horizontal and let me take this one off, raise this up a little bit. Let's go up here. I'm not going straight down like vertical. I'm going here and trying to drive my pinky to my elbow and I'm going straight out in front of me like that. So that's kind of the difference when I do uh, triceps. A lot of people will go straight down like that, like a, like a neutral grip. I don't do that. I mean, there's no reason not to. Um, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Um, I always start off with my weaker side first. It's a lot of weight. <clears throat> so we'll go straight on. Also, I like to hold this attachment as well so it doesn't go everywhere. <sighs> always start off with your weaker side as well. Okay. All right. 
I'm going to go back and forth between biceps and triceps. Uh, I did three sets of that. So I'm going to go ahead and actually go biceps and then triceps, or triceps and then biceps, which I think a lot of people do. Um, it's, it's pretty much the way I've always done arms. I've always gone back and forth. You could go straight triceps, straight biceps, but I just find that for me, it's easier when, <clears throat> just make sure this is a good angle. It's easier for me when I go triceps to biceps. So let's just start out with a standing curl. <clears throat> So I had someone, well, a couple of videos ago, I think like two weeks ago, I had people commenting on my, uh, just basically saying how I basically stole Sam Sulek's, uh, you know, style of videos. And to that, I say, yes. <laughs> it's funny, I've been, you know, posting gym videos now for, let's go up and wait. I've been posting gym videos for pretty much, 10 years, probably eight years on and off. And one of the reasons why I really stopped posting was because, well, one, when I went to college, I was just busy. I'm so under the weather right now, man. Whew. I really hope I'm not getting strep throat. <clears throat> it's one of the reasons because it just got so fancy. Like you needed editors, the content had to be wild. I didn't like that. Um, I like just the rawness of videos. <laughs> So once like it got really crazy with like you know the fanciness of Gymshark, Alpha Lead, Young LA, I kind of took the foot off the gas and I just did podcasting. But now that Sam Sulek is back and people are really getting in line with just the raw content, I've fallen back in love with it. I just have. And like, yeah, it's stealing, but at the end of the day, man, we all can deliver something a little bit different. And like there was never a moment where I wasn't like not try to give credit to him. Like, he's the man. Like, Sam Sulek, he is legit the man. So let's go 45 here. Mm, let's go 40. 45 is a lot. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Oh, by the way, it's AM, not PM. Okay. So two more in each arm. Okay, let's go. One more set, and then we'll go back to uh, we'll go back to a tricep movement here. So the one downside of this gym is they don't have a lot of options for attachments. They pretty much only have the cables. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a pretty much jerry rig a V bar push down. The advantage of a V-bar pushdown is you can get your body over it, and by getting your body over it, you can really push more weight. You can kind of think of a V-bar pushdown almost as like a close grip tricep, uh, close, close grip bench press, because it loads the weight right on top of your arms. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and attach these here. I don't do single, I don't do arm days usually. I do like a classic, you know, bro split, where I'll go ahead and do you know, biceps, back, um, triceps, chest. I very rarely like do this kind of training, but like I said, I had some time. So I said, screw it, why not? So let's go pretty heavy here. I don't know what these stacks are like. Yeah, let's do that. Let me just adjust my mic real quick. Cause I'm gonna have to change my, uh... all right, let's put it there. I have to put my hat on backwards. And so we're holding it like this, like a neutral grip. Okay, we're really putting it under our body. We're pulling that, those cables out. Let's go up a little more. And we're actually gonna superset this, right? So we're gonna superset this with a diamond push-up, which you don't see people do a lot. I love them. I love diamond push-ups. Okay. And then when we overload them, instead of bringing the rope out or the cables out, 
Let's keep our hands pinned together. Ooh, okay. Like I said, I'm gonna superset them with close grip. Diamond push-ups, triangle push-ups, whatever you wanna call them. Basically just make a triangle with your hands, like you're the Illuminati. <laughs> and we're gonna bring our, the goal here is to bring our mid chest to the diamond, right? I don't go all the way. I have about a, a quarter to a half inch gap between my index finger and my thumbs. Oh God. Oh, that felt good. All right, we're gonna do that for two more sets. All right, we're gonna finish up this workout with a quick, so we technically did three movements for triceps. We're gonna do three more movements for uh, biceps here. So we're gonna superset it. Um, we're gonna superset it with uh, cable curls, which I have here. <clears throat> Just low single arm cable curls. Just try to drink, drive your pinky to the outside of your shoulder. And I'm gonna actually come over here. I have these kettlebells. I'm just gonna do a double overhand grip kettlebell curl. So essentially all that is gonna be, is just gonna focus more on like the forearms, uh, brachialis right here. And we're just gonna go close grip and we're just gonna go pretty much to failure. Let's go ahead and drop this weight and just do a single arm bicep curl. Nothing crazy, nothing special. Kind of like the same stance we did for triceps though. That's the one thing you can think of. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Let's drive that pinky, like I said, to the outside part of your shoulder. sick as hell. Ooh, I feel lethargic and tired. Everyone at work is getting sick. Clients are getting sick. So it's a short little cable setup. Um, I don't want to get sick. When I get sick, man, it's when I get the flu, it's, it's tough. I get absolutely hammered when I get the flu. I literally, I can't move from the bed. I just crawl to the bathroom, like from both ends. It's it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. All right, here we go. I don't know what this weight is. 26 pounds. This kind of resembles a hammer strength grip bicep curl. There we go. And that's it for the arm day. Nothing crazy. Like I said, we got to split to go to work. I'm gonna try to stop and get an energy drink just because I'm a bit exhausted. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that arm workout. I'm gonna get in the car, set up the camera, keep talking to you guys, and then um, shut down the video. Um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the car. Testing, testing. I think we're on. All right, we should be good. We should be rocking, rolling, hanging out. Um, yeah, so it's currently six. Like 6 15, 6 30. So it's about a 30 minute workout. Um, like I said, nothing crazy, right? Like when you, so it's funny, I think there's two different, well, I don't want to say it's two different kinds. I don't like ever thinking anything is binary. Um, that's like one tip I can give people is like get out of like the, like thinking in binary terms and like, oh God, turn on my headlights, Jesus Christ. It's so cold. It, was snowing all day yesterday. We're supposed to get a massive snowstorm this weekend, which I'm not happy about. At least the gym, Foundation Fitness, they uh, they have a key pass system. So as long as like the power stays on, if you're a member, you can use the gym. God, these poor people sitting at the metro. Jesus Christ, in my throat, bro. It's killing me. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, binary thinking. This is so bad for you. You shouldn't. You should not be doing that. Like, don't, don't, <laughs> don't follow in my lead on that. Maybe do the arm workout, but don't do that. It's a bad idea. 
Um, yeah, but you can't, like, when you start thinking in binary terms, I think you kind of lose, like, the artistic edge to life in a weird, strange way. I, oh, I gotta put up clips or YouTube um, for my last video. But, yeah, you start, like, thinking in binary terms, things, you, you don't have, like, that ability to adjust, and, like, you don't have free-flowing thinking, and I know for me, I always, I kind of grew up very, like, straight edge, like, I still am, I'm, I'm pretty straight edge, like, I don't really have any vices, um, I, I try to avoid vices, um, I, I know one of my vices is food, so I try to control that as much as I can, I like to put levers on things, just in case some, if it starts going a little haywire, I can pull that lever, I think it's important to have levers to pull if things start going haywire, but, like, binary thinking, I think, can get you in a lot of trouble, you got to have that flexibility to adjust mentally in, in your mind and then and then physically with with, with your body um, until you can do that I think you kind of corner yourself a lot in life like you know whatever like if you go to college and you know you you're like oh, I'm gonna be a lawyer and then you know you get in the third year and I don't know how law school works but I know you have to go to law I know you have to go to law school so like if you're I don't know going to undergrad for criminal justice or criminology or history of crime whatever whatever the prerequisites are to get your uh to get your jd and you know take the bar exam if like the third year in undergrad comes and you you are very binary with your way of thinking you can't adjust if like you don't like it right because you have like these social pressures you have family pressures you have you know your own personal pressures of oh i have to get my law degree but you know, usually like two or three years into college, you know what you do and don't like. And if you were just like, I'm going to do this, well, then maybe, you know, it, it can work both ways. But maybe, maybe you end up doing something that you dislike, you know. I think it's very important to have like that flexibility in, in your mind to adjust accordingly when needed. That's just, you know, that's my, my little rant on that subject. This intersection is the worst, bro. It's like you can literally, I mean, I've been here before for four, five, six, seven minutes, um, and these, I was worried, like, these people aren't gonna stop, too, when, when, you know, when it's my turn to go, but yeah, I was supposed to get a massive snowstorm this weekend, which is not ideal, um, I'm moving back to Annapolis, I know I've spoken on it a little bit, um, but I am moving back to Annapolis, and I'm, basically, my goal, for, <laughs> my, what I'm doing for 2024 is, you know, at a time in my life in 2023, <laughs> The person I was with, we were kind of essentially saving our income to buy a house eventually, right? And things, you know, go the other direction sometimes in life, and and then like certain things just can't happen. And, and I kind of experienced that. You have enough? Oh, I have five dollars to get an energy drink. And now I have, um, I'm missing the other half of the down payment. So, so I'm kind of at a point right now where you know I can either rent an apartment or I could buy a house. Or I could like live with my parents for like six, eight, ten, twelve months to really accumulate the wealth and put down my down payment. And you know, I'm gonna be like fully transparent here. Like part of me is not happy about that. This light, I mean we have I've been filming the whole time this light's been on. Um, here we go. And part of me is not happy about that, right? Because I've lived on my own for four years at this point. I'm twenty seven now. I moved out when I was like twenty one, twenty two. So there's a freedom aspect that I I uh, I enjoy. Right? I, I very much enjoy that um, I can go home and you know cut on the couch with Nona, my, my dog, and I know that's grandma in Italian, but funny story, the way, the way I named my dog was uh, Taylor and I were, uh, I kept on calling her no name, and then I just kind of took out the aim part, and then, or the mm part, the M-E, <laughs> it became Nona, uh, which is Italian for grandma. Uh, yeah, so I could either like, you know, find a roommate, not happening <laughs> unless it was like with my partner not not finding a roommate um or i could rent out an apartment which then i wouldn't really have a lot of discretionary income to put down on a down payment on a house um and i just wouldn't really have the flexibility to do what i want to do and you know it's kind of a weird situation like if i'm if my parents are there and they're willing to let me stay there and all i have to do is like you know pay for groceries and you know help with you know pay a little bit of rent here and there and whatever I have to do and plus my parents are aging and like I don't know I don't know how people feel about this but like for me I uh I grew up very quickly like and like what do I mean by that like I grew up at 15 I was 
pretty much not home anymore. Like, I just wasn't home. <laughs> I was working full time. I was at school. I was, you know, I just was never home. And I had a girlfriend at the time, and we were just out doing things <laughs> all the time from like 16 to 21. We were just, we were dating, and we just, I never went home. <laughs> I'll stay at her house and, you know, whatever. And, and, and then, you know, and because of that, I just never really developed like an adult, like, I don't want to say an adult bond with my parents, but like, I feel like my sister and my parents are a lot closer than my parents and I. Um, obviously we have different relationships, but like I grew up so quickly, you know, pay for my own rent, pay for my own bills, just pay for anything on my own and never asking for money. And, and it was all good and it was all good and dandy. And I was going to get my own place and you know, whatever things were going to work out uh, the way they were supposed to. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just want to make sure I was recording on the right thing. Cause if I wasn't, I would have been pissed, <laughs> but I was, um, things were to work out a certain way, you know, go half and half on a down payment and that couldn't happen. So now I just kind of find my place, my, 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 my situation right now where I have this, you know, beautiful, I, I have my parents that are alive and I'm so lucky for that. And I don't want to waste, um, income throwing it away when I could just stay there develop a better bond with my parents um, and you know get to know them better and you know save more money and maybe make memories with them that otherwise wouldn't exist if I just immediately went it went into an apartment and it's only for a year bro and like you know I'm 27 and as I age man like these years start going by bro like it, it's crazy man and like you know, as a child, you always go, that's not true, what are you talking about? No, but it, it is it is so objectively true, man. Like, time manifests its way in such a different dimension when you age. It's just so true, and I don't care what anybody says. It doesn't necessarily get faster, right, because physics, but it feels so much faster. Um, so that's kind of my plan for 2024. Towards the end of 2024, I do plan on getting a apartment, I mean a house, you know, nothing crazy, like a 1500, two bed, two bath maybe. Um, one of my best friends just got a house and I'm thinking about getting one like near him. And you know, I'm just gonna, I guess I'm, my goal this year is really just, I'm not one for like making goals all the time because I'm pretty, I, I have a high level of tenacity on accomplishing things that I wanna accomplish. But I do want to make sure um, I do want to make sure that I do find myself in a better situation than I'm ending 2023 in. So that's kind of my goal there. Um, I'm at 7-Eleven right now. Nothing good comes from 7-Eleven at 6 o'clock in the morning. So I'll probably shut down my camera. I'm going to go in there, um, get myself a energy drink. 7-Eleven has such better options than Wawa. And I'm a diehard Wawa fan, but 7-Eleven has so many options of drinks. Um, so I'm going to go in there, get a drink. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you did, please like, share, do what you do, and I'll catch you guys um, sometime next week. Have a beautiful, beautiful day.